And now... It's the Still Unnamed Podcast. With your hosts... Pete and Mark. Hey kids, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Still Unnamed Podcast. We're back after a week-long hiatus. How you doing, Mark? I'm doing good. I'm Mark Birthday Boy Rodriguez. Ah, yes, that's right. I screwed it up. Again, we, we miss one week and all of a sudden you we're... fuck up we, everything. We, we screw up the flow and you, you spoiled it. I was going to make a bigger deal about it. Oh, but, okay then. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. Uh, it wouldn't be you unless you screwed up the intro somehow, too. This is my nickname. I can do whatever I want with it. That's true. Let's try that again just for, uh, just for you know, shits and giggles. Okay. Hey, kids, and welcome to another exciting edition of the Still Unnamed Podcast. I'm Pete Salas, along with... Mark Birthday Boy Rodriguez. The birthday boys in the house. Beep, 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 beep. Happy birthday, Mark. Hey, thank you. Today is my birthday. Today, Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday's birthday. Are we having tacos today? Uh, no. Why not? Because it's my birthday and I chose <gasps> enchiladas. Enchiladas. My yeah. mom's? Yes. <sighs> she makes the best enchiladas. She makes them really, really good. Yeah, they're, they're, they're amazing. They've been a staple in this house for years and years and years. So um, very happy to be having that tonight. That's kind of close to tacos. It's um, very close. It's, it, you know what? All Mexican food, there's a comedian who talked about it. He said all Mexican food is the same. <laughs> You got tortilla. Was he a white cheese. guy or was he Mexican? He was Please white. Say, oh my god! <laughs> he, but he, he was trading he was on absolutely some... right though. Ugh. He was like, I used to uh, be a waiter for a Mexican food place, and uh, everything is pretty much the same thing. It's tortillas, cheese, and uh, uh, meat or chicken. Mm-hmm. And so, like, if anybody ever came up to him, like, okay, what's in the What's in the enchilada? What's in the enchiladas? Okay, that's uh, tortillas with cheese and <laughs> meat or chicken. Okay, and what about the nachos? That's uh, tortillas, <laughs> cheese, and chicken or beef. That's true. I never really thought about that. Uh, what about the burrito? That's uh, tortilla, <laughs> cheese, <laughs> meat, and chicken. That's true, man. Um, so I guess I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna heat up some tortillas and put the enchiladas in, inside of that and yes. make an enchilada taco. You know what? That sounds pretty good. Let's try that. We're not going to do it. Okay, I'll try it. <laughs> Let's try it. Let's try it. Flour Let's, tortillas? This, yes. Just, That's my favorite tortilla. Yes. If yeah. we're going to get real Mexican for a moment, <laughs> yeah. let's just talk about food. <laughs> Let's pause for some uh, <laughs> some Mexican music. Orgullosamente Latino hasta la muerte y después. Worldwide Latino pride. The ambassadors of violence. I'm a and we're back. Orale. Orale. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Como estas muy bien usted? Donde esta la biblioteca? Yes, whenever I'm at a Mexican restaurant and I'm ordering some sort of a meal or a plate or something, and the, the obvious question that the that the waiter asks is, uh, tortillas de maíz or, or harina? Uh-huh. And, uh, of course, you always have to say harina. harina why, why, why would you even waste time with, with corn just, tortillas? They're just shit. You, you know, chances are you already have a basket of fried corn tortillas exactly. in front of you. Exactly. A.K.A. chips. Corn chips. Corn chips with some salsa. But anyway, happy birthday. Thank you. Um, the big 2-8. 28. 28? Oh, I remember yeah. that year. No, you, Do you? Yeah. That well, was, what, shit, five years ago? Uh, <laughs> five years ago, I was 28. Yeah. What was it? How was it? Well, 28. What do I have to expect? 28's always been my special number. So I didn't, oh, it's prob- yeah. It's probably not, you know, any any more special than any other year, but... To me, my, my 28th year, I, I tried to tried to knock it out of the park. I don't know if I did, but uh, I can't remember, really. I just remember <laughs> it being fun to be 28. That's good. For 365 days, but that's cool. So, uh, what? any plans besides enchiladas tonight? Oh, absolutely not. I'm just keeping it very low-key. Low, low-key? Low-key. That's cool. <laughs> keeping it low-key. I like it. Um, Alyssa was like... Minutes before I came in, I was that's that's when I told her I was like, okay, we'll have enchiladas, because <laughs> I there's just so much pressure because it's it's dessert mm-hmm. that I have to choose and the entree that I have to choose, right? Because that's what we started this year. Well, I chose what did I choose? Uh, like shrimp scampi uh, or something. That was delicious. Some uh, some sun dried tomato sauce on some pasta with some shrimp and chicken. Mm, I'm getting hungry now. Yeah, that was pretty good. So. But then I had to choose, and I'm like, oh, I'm just like a very normal, like 
my palate is very unrefined and well it's not like what i chose was like <laughs> well no 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 <laughs> from left field or but anything but i uh for dinner before in my past my mom has has done it before we're like okay it's your it's your day what do you want for dinner and uh-huh. and i've chosen in the past uh cheeseburger macaroni hamburger helper <laughs> I was like, this is what I want for my dinner. Like a regular Wednesday night Just, meal. Oh, oh, it was so good. I freaking <laughs> love it. It's like my favorite. You love Hamburger Helper? Hamburger Helper, Cheeseburger Macaroni. <laughs> Alyssa hates it. I, I, you know what? We didn't. We were not a Hamburger Helper house growing up no. at all. That little wavy hand with the smiley yeah. face and the big red nose. Uh-huh. No, we said, fuck you. <laughs> we sent him packing. We never did that. We were a Velveeta Shells and Cheese family. Yeah, you guys are. We have that with like every you, meal. <laughs> you, with a passion. You're like, what yeah. are we having? Uh, steak. Better make some shells <laughs> yeah, and cheese. Was, nothing pairs well with a uh, nice 18 ounce ribeye. <laughs> steak. Uh, sauteed mushrooms. Sauteed mushrooms, baked potatoes, mm-hmm. some green beans on the side, and Velveeta Shells and Cheese. Yeah, my- <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird. Dude. And I it, had not seen so much Velveeta che- There has never in my lifetime been as much Velveeta cells and cheese in my life <laughs> until I met this family. Well, I mean, hey, man, it goes, with, it goes with anything, I say. And you know what? We're really lucky that I don't, I mean, I haven't seen them throughout the year, but you know those, those HEB rolls that they sell around uh, oh, Thanksgiving yeah. in the yellow packages? Uh-huh. Man, we're lucky that they don't sell those <laughs> year-round because we would eat those every night, too. Yeah. We're we're big on on bread here. Bread. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like triple my size. Uh, so, you know what sucks? Getting fat. I'm getting fat. Are you getting fat? I'm getting a bit. I w- you know when I I hadn't seen you in a few days and I just I just thought honestly he looks thinner. But really? Yeah. But did you did you? The secret is wear really big clothes. <laughs> <laughs> but like I my... did I did find it weird that you're wearing a snuggie <laughs> up here. <laughs> it's like a reversible cape. It's like a neo. <laughs> But backwards, it keeps right. me warm, <laughs> and I can grab the remote. <laughs> right, exactly. That's funny. Yeah, but uh, so that sucks. I'm getting old and I'm getting fat. Mm. But mm-hmm. whatever. It happens, man. My my fat pants are slowly becoming my regular pants. <laughs> <laughs> do you do you remember like when you were a kid? Now talking about getting older, um, how things just. They tasted different back then. I don't know if we've talked about this already. No, I don't think we've talked about but, this. But, like, I used to love Fruity Pebbles. Used to love them. I fucking love Fruity Pebbles. Right, but they don't taste the same to me anymore. Nope. They, 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 Mm-mm. it's like, I want to still love them, and I think I'm just holding on to, to that, that Nostalgia. Vague, yeah, the nostalgia, I'm, I'm, uh, that vague memory of, of uh-huh. how delicious it was. And once you got to the end and you had those little, you know, that the, the milk, the and, milk, this perfect and, ratio uh, of milk yeah. to like soggy, uh, you know, fruity pebble, but it, it just doesn't taste the same anymore. And fruity it, pebble is like my very favorite. Disturbing. You know, the only cereal I think that still tastes the same now as it did back then is uh, cinnamon toast crunch. I don't think that mm-hmm. they've, they've changed that recipe at all. You know what? Uh, I, Cereal that I really liked was the uh, Rice Krispies treat cereal. Did you ever have that when you were growing up? Mm, the the Snap Crackle and Pop. Not Rice Krispies. Rice Krispies treats cereal. Like with marshmallow in it. Like yeah, it was like in little clusters. Little clumps of Rice Krispie treat as cereal. I never had that. When it's did they? It's fucking delicious. I remember. <laughs> oh, I remember. Let me tell you, boy. Tell me. Uh, it, year was nineteen ninety four. I was playing a Super Nintendo. I was playing Jurassic Clinton Park. Was president. <laughs> Them's was the good times. Was he president or was that Bush? I don't remember. Yeah, ninety four. He was okay. president. All right. He got elected ninety two because Millennium new president. That's right. Math. Um, anyway. Yeah, I don't even know if it was ninety four. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> but I remember seeing the the advert for it, and I was like, that looks really good. Uh, so next time we went to the the store, I was like, Mom, can I get this cereal? And she's like, Sure, whatever. You're not gonna get a fucking toy or anything. <laughs> Might as well get you a bowl of cereal. <laughs> So I get my bowl of cere- my Rice Krispies treats, and I'm like, I cannot wait. Right. So I put my open, mouth on this. <laughs> I open it, and I'm just fucking eating it out of the box. In the car? On Not the- in the car, but like when we get home okay. the next day, I'm like, maybe I'll just snack on a little bit. <laughs> so I'm just snacking on them. I'm like, and they take, they're not like straight up legit Rice Krispies treats, but they're pretty damn delicious. Okay. Raw. And I'm like, this is really fucking good. 
And then that next, on Saturday, because I know it was Saturday because we had rented a, ga- rented a game for Blockbuster the night before. I was playing Jurassic Park on the Super Nintendo. <coughs> oh, snap. I just have this weird memory where I got specific details. Okay. But then I poured the cereal into the bowl. I poured the milk, and then I let it sit for just a second. Just let it get a little bit moist. Mm-hmm. And then I <laughs> I took my spoon. I took a big old spoon, and I ate it, and it was absolutely delicious. Okay. It was fan-fucking-tastic, Pete. I'm telling you. Okay. I'm putting my hand to the table. I, it yeah. was not bad. Wow. So yeah, He's very passionate about this. Well, then why did they why did they not make it anymore? Why did I don't they, know because of obesity? <laughs> Probably <laughs> childhood obesity. <laughs> hey, you know what's not good for children? Yeah, rice cereal, <laughs> butter and butter and marshmallow. marshmallows with milk, <laughs> whole milk on top of it. Yeah, I guess so, man. Yeah, they're, they're the the government. They're taking all of our cereal. All of our cereals. They're coming from our cereals. <laughs> but yeah, to answer your question, cereal is not as good as it used to no, be. No, it's not. I don't I don't kids. enjoy it anymore. You know what else sucks? Lactose intolerance. <laughs> <laughs> do you have that? I think I do. I think I have a, a mild the farts? case. I have a mild case of it. Yes. Yes, I do. Um, I, I definitely get like the bubble guts if I drink uh, too much uh, too much milk. And I fucking love milk. I love love milk like i just i know that you're not a huge fan of milk no and you just hate the word milk <laughs> yeah we just you're just that. fucking saying the shit out of that <laughs> word <laughs> but it's your birthday so i have to pick at you a little bit and um no like i it's very disappointing it's very disappointing that that, that you're a little uh, bit lactose i'm intolerant. a little bit i'm a little bit lactose intolerant is it because you get the poops after a pizza hut pizza because let me tell you, that bitch is just oily. What? <laughs> Where's this from? <laughs> oh, because I get the poops after I eat <laughs> pizza. Pizza Hut pizza. Because it's very oily. <laughs> I get the poops. I get wow. the poops something fierce. When I eat like super oily stuff like Long John Silver, which I played with in my head, like maybe I should get that for my birthday dinner. And I was like, no, no. Long John not. Silver? That yeah. wouldn't have flown here no. at, at the compound. I'm telling you this much. But I, I was trying to think of things that I haven't had in a long time. and uh, You know, that, 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 that really sucks now that, now that I'm... I brought that up. We have to like not only pick what we want, we have to pick something yeah. that everyone will like. Uh-huh. And that's not fair. That's not fair. That's it's not our fair birthday. Exactly. Exactly. But anyway. Um so I understand we're gonna have a special guest. Yes, we are. Why don't we get to her right now? Let's do it. Welcome to Intermission. <laughs> How's it going, babe? It's going okay. We got a special guest, Alyssa Ashley Salas. All I wanted for my birthday is to talk with you on a podcast. Happy birthday. This is the best birthday ever. So what do you want to talk about, babe? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Let's talk about how you almost wanted to divorce me today. Um... Because of the Funko Pop? Because of the Funko Pop. Okay, so Amazon sent me an email. (laughs) (laughs) And um, they asked me how I was enjoying my Deadpool Funko Pop. And I thought, I don't have a Deadpool (laughs) Funko Pop. So um, I looked it up. And turns out it was shipped under your name to an address that I'd never heard of before. Mm-hmm. And... That's calling... That's bad news bears. That's terrible. And so, um... I looked up the address on Google, <laughs> and a female's stalking? name popped up. Did you just start stalking? Uh, sort of. So, a female that I don't know uh, lives at that address, and so I was like, really... <laughs> This motherfucker. Uh-huh. So, yeah. Um, turns out the Funko Pop, along with the um, Star-Lord Funko Pop, was ordered back in February, right before um, <laughs> Valentine's Day. But I didn't get those Funko Pops for Valentine's Day. You got real excited about that uh, Star-Lord, the right? Star-Lord one, yes. I actually found out about that one back in February, but then it didn't show up, and then I actually forgot about it for a little while, and then I remembered um, close to Mother's Day, and I was like, oh, well, maybe I'll get it for Mother's Day, (laughs) and Mother's Day came and went, and I still didn't get it, so today, 
I forgot why. I, oh, well, because of the other email. And um, you yeah. got an email today saying, "Hey, how are you liking your Deadpool?" Yeah. So. Yeah. So then you confronted me. I did. You said, th- "How did you start it off?" I don't even remember. You said, "So, who do you know in Donna?" Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> who do you know that lives in Donna? And I was like, "I don't know." <laughs> I was already on defense because. That's never a good question. <laughs> well, I mean, not that it's never a good question, but you're the way you set it up, it was like, you're, you're in trouble. trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, as it turned out, mm-hmm. I know a lot of people in Donna. Yeah. Now, it was a, a friend of mine who asked, uh, who wanted it for his girlfriend on Valentine's Day, but it was just a few days away. Lucky girl. Oh my gosh! <laughs> just kidding. I'm just I got kidding. you really good things. You did, you did. You got me a lot of stuff. Like what? Can you name three <laughs> things that I got you for Valentine's Day? Um, yeah, you got me some clothes. Yeah, a lot of clothes, and you got me some chocolate pieces to melt and make. <laughs> no, that. <laughs> <laughs> flowers you got me some flowers mm-hmm, that's Definitely. two and and i think you got me some dark chocolate i'm thinking of something else with the melting chocolate i you, always you, get you dark dark yeah, chocolate you did get me dark chocolate because i like dark chocolate i got you like a whole bunch of strawberry stuff like i got you strawberry i think it was chapstick and i got you a strawberry <laughs> car scent thing and Oh, yeah, the thing for my car, yes. That one was pretty smelly nice. Yeah, I actually hate nice-y. the scent of strawberry. <laughs> oh. Well, <laughs> but the car a- thing, it, it smelled pretty good. Shut up. <laughs> no, it did, it did. I genuinely Your enjoyed the smell. Your pool full of poop. Except when it got hot, like once the weather started turning hot again. Oh, yeah. It started smelling really bad in my car, so I threw it out. So today's Tuesday, Mm -hmm. so that means it's the second day of training for you. Right. You're training to be what? I am going to be a second grade math teacher. How are you at math then? I suck at math. You're bad at math then. I'm terrible at math. I help you with math all the time. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be But you're really confident, so that scares me for the children. (laughs) Um, luckily, though... The um, the curriculum is actually mapped out pretty well, so I don't really have to know math too much. I just have to be good at reading. And snapping. And snapping. Can yeah. you snap on the mic? I'm a good snapper. You are not. Oh, <gasps> that was a pretty good snap. Guys, that was the first time I snapped. <laughs> you That's don't not... know how to snap. <gasps> Everybody thinks I'm full of shit now, because yeah, it kind of sounds yeah, like do. I. S- You're, that was that's a good snap. Well, yeah, when you do it with that hand. My left hand. I can't do it with my left hand. This is this is really good radio that we're doing right oh, now. Oh yeah, can you see me snapping? <laughs> this this sna- is that was a really good one. These these are right hand snaps, and these <laughs> those left hand snaps almost nothing. Probably nothing. This is my turn. Right, t- right hand snaps. This is going to be really fun for Pete to edit. <laughs> and this is left hand snaps. So what do you love most about me on my birthday? This is talk about me. It's my special day. Right. What do you love? When did you know oh, no. that I was the one? Uh, I'm not sure I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're, you're pretty weird. I'm very and weird. And you make me laugh. And... Yeah, <laughs> that's about <laughs> it. You make me laugh a lot because you're you're super strange. <laughs> what? You are. You're, you're doing you're re- super strange. You're pretty much saying like you're kind of funny, and that's why I love you. I guess you could replace me with any comedian, and then you'd be like, yeah, I'm okay. I do love comedians. No, you don't. Um, I love Louie. <laughs> He's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been keeping up? I have. I'm I'm so far. I behind. know you you <laughs> haven't watched almost any of them. I've seen like up to the one where he made out with his his fat ex friend. 
that that lady it was like season one episode three okay or one even Mm -hmm. no no that was it was further down i think whatever anyway so yeah you're you're funny thanks babe you're doing (laughs) really really good (laughs) happy birthday thank you why don't you sing to me on my birthday on the podcast no okay no you know you're gonna you're really good at talking to me, and you're going to do really good as soon as I turn off this mic. You're right. I am. Let's pretend I turn off the mic. Click. So how do you think you did? Terrible. <laughs> really, really terrible. Why? I thought you did really good. You sounded very pretty. Um, thank you. You have a very beautiful voice. Sometimes. All the time. You're very timid, though. Yeah. I'm very timid. I don't Why are you so shy? You're supposed to be standing in front of kids and teaching them, and you're <laughs> well, like. Well, it's different with kids. Why? I can talk to kids. I don't know. I've just, I've always been able to relate better to kids. That's not a good thing, is it? No. <laughs> well, you're not a boy, so it's okay. Oh well, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, what do you do for a living? I'm a nanny. That's really good. Yeah. Soon to be teacher. So you're surrounded by children. Also, you're a fantastic mother. <laughs> oh, you hate the kids. <laughs> Here's the truth. They won't listen to this. You can vent. What do you hate about Dexter? <sighs> oh, let's talk about Dexter real quick. Sure. He's He's been grabbing his dick a <laughs> lot. I've mentioned his dick before <laughs> on the podcast. Uh-huh. He's started to whip out his dick. Yeah, he pulls it out of his diaper, out of the top of his diaper. And you'll... Like, his shirts are usually long enough to cover the top of his shorts, so you won't even know until <laughs> all of a sudden there's, like, a wet spot <laughs> on his shirt, and mm. it's it's pretty and bad. And he's just like, ooh! Yeah. Ooh! <laughs> yeah. And then the first time it happened, you're like, look at your son! <laughs> and I'm like, what? And then you, like, lift his shirt. And I lift his shirt, and his little pecker is coming out. <laughs> and I'm like, what is he even doing? And you blame me. Well, I... Let's no. Let's not get into that. <laughs> That's no. <laughs> Pete, cut that out. Yeah, please. <laughs> I don't want a divorce. Yeah. Uh, I think we have like, we've. Uh, I know for you this feels like forever. Uh huh. We've done ten minutes. Oh. Pete and I do like a half hour plus. Okay. So we can do this, babe. You and I are a good team. All right. What do you hate about Harley? Um, well, I love Harley. She's your favorite. She, sh- <laughs> <laughs> um, she's getting a bit of an attitude, though. She's a three-nager. Definitely. A ridiculous. Yes, it's, it's, but that's also super hilarious. Like, most days, the things that she says that just make me laugh. Like what? Um, well, you put me on the spot. <laughs> I can't think of anything. Um. I don't know. When when she told me that just, like, everything was ridiculous. Yeah, what happened that day? She she just, like, constantly asks for things, and it's usually stuff along the lines of snacks, and she's always thirsty for some reason. She always wants milk. Constantly She thirsty. doesn't want water. No. She wants milk. milk. Um, Ugh, I hate and that word. We were out of whatever it was that she... Um, oh, she wanted Swiss cheese. I don't <laughs> know where... <laughs> she's never had Swiss cheese. Swiss cheese ever. But your favorite cheese is Munster. Yes. Um, So she was demanding Swiss cheese, and of course we don't have any. Because no uh, one just has Swiss cheese. Yeah. And so she was just like, oh, this is so ridiculous. And I was like, what? (laughs) (laughs) So uh, that day, like, everything was ridiculous. Everything that I said, like, every time I said no, everything was ridiculous. Man, you're so ridiculous, Mom. I don't know. She's crazy. She's so silly. Yeah. Oh, and she wants to be a witch for Halloween, right? Yes, for some reason. I don't know why, but I we told know. her she's going to be Alice. Because every year we're themed. Yes. Uh, last year we were vampires. Right. The year before we were pirates. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And then the year before that we were... Uh, Batman we villains. Were, yeah, we were Joker, Harley Quinn... And Poison Ivy. Yes. And this year, we've already planned it out. Spoilers, Alice in Wonderland is what we're going for. Yes. Um, We like to buy the costumes during the um, after Halloween sales so that they're super cheap. Yeah. And we always buy a size up so that we have it for the following year. Yeah, for the kids. So we bought Alice in Wonderland. We don't get size up fast. Yeah, that's going to be rough. (laughs) 
<laughs> come October, squeezing into those costumes. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be Alice in Wonderland, but now she wants to be a witch. Just out of nowhere. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. So I'm pretty sure that's gonna be a fight in October. Yeah. Well, we started. We watched Alice in Wonderland. She really liked it. Did she? Yes. She wanted to watch it again, and I said no because it was bedtime. <laughs> so. And that was ridiculous. Was super ridiculous. Um. But yeah, in the middle of the movie, she was like, and who's mommy going to be? Oh, she's going to be the Queen of Hearts. And the Queen of Hearts would come out and daddy's going to be uh, right. the Mad Hatter and Dexter's going to be the White Rabbit. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, yeah, and I'm going to be the witch. <laughs> <laughs> and we said, no. There's no witch in this movie. <laughs> You're going to be Alice. So, I think that was a pretty good podcast. What do you think? I think that was super long. <laughs> It was, I had a really good time. We're going to get to do this a lot more often. Great. I hope. So excited. Okay. Okay. I, oh, yeah. I, real quick, I just need to tell everybody that I pulled Alyssa out of bed. Yes. I was asleep, <laughs> and he woke me up to do this. It was like 11 o'clock, right? Yeah, but it's been a long day. It's been a very I went long. to work today, so. Also, what time did we wake up? Very, very early. Yeah. Probably like two in the morning. And Harley's been waking up like super early in the middle of the night and she just randomly wants water in the middle of the night. Yeah. So. I, who gets thirsty in the middle of the night? I That's ridiculous. Where does she get this stuff from? <laughs> okay. Okay. Let's toss it back to Pete and Mark. All right. Do you have a nickname? I don't. Let's That's okay. I don't need one. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. All right. Bye, guys. Bye. Now back to the Still Unnamed Podcast, bitches. And that was my conversation with <laughs> Alyssa. There you go. My for, lovely wife. For your birthday. That's all I wanted for my birthday podcast. Oh, was to her to sit across from you yeah. and put on the, the headphones. Yeah, she really didn't want to do it. Mm. But I said, it's my birthday. Well, you know. I sound like Bobby Hill. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Hill. You know, that wasn't that. It was a good show. But I, I, it's not one of those shows that I saw every single episode. Like, I can tell you, like, uh, Family Guy or, yeah. or Simpsons mm-hmm. or whatever. Simpsons especially. I've seen every single episode, beginning to end. But, like, King of the Hills, one of those that I never sat down and watched from beginning to end. I would catch them whenever they were yeah. on or whatever. But, you know. it was. It's actually a really, really good show. I... Uh, it was in syndication, so I caught a lot of episodes when I was working overnight at uh, Care Well, that makes sense. So since it was in syndication, it would just be on, and I would watch a couple episodes, and I'm like, this is actually pretty hilarious. And there was, like, one episode where um, Luann... By the way, her name is Luann Platter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, That's I caught that. clever. That's that is, so clever. That is very clever. So anyway, Luann is, is, is pregnant. Is Luby's national, na- nationwide Luby's? I don't know, but we should we should say, just in case, Luby's is a, <laughs> is a grown-up cafeteria yes, it's, <laughs> for old white people. It's very good, but it's very expensive, yeah. I think. You know, I, I remember I went there. Well, let's dial it back a bit. It's not very good. It's quite good. It's it's good. It's, it's good, good for cafeteria food. Yes. You know, it's like, it's not exactly your high school cafeteria. No. But it's still, it's well made. Uh, you it's know, probably Senate cafeteria. D- right. I, I would imagine that, that <laughs> I would imagine the congressman would be eating Luby style. I could tear up a chicken fried chicken. Let me tell you right Dude, now. Dude, their, their fried fish is delicious really i love it i just but my problem is is i've gone uh with like and i and i've paid for like two two people yeah and i walk out of there with like a 45 five dollar bill it's just crazy it's ridiculous i think we've talked about this before or maybe on the you know what on the podcast that i had with with my sister we were talking about lubies about oh my god that's so weird serendipitous yeah that's very weird full circle but anyway but Luann Platter. Luann Platter. Luann, she was going to have a baby, and uh, her uh, baby's daddy's sister um, was going to help out with the baby, and she was very, like, new agey and doing a lot of hippy-dippy stuff. Mm-hmm. Like... Hippy-dippy. Hippy-dippy. Mm-hmm. Uh, for instance, the baby's room, they, they showed the baby's room, and it was all very black and white. Okay. And just no smiley faces. It did not look like a baby room at all. And it, it was especially hilarious to me because that was around the time Harley was born. And that's exactly how Alyssa was. 
She was like, <laughs> we need to get black and white this and black and white that because really? that's how babies see. They can see the contrasts better and da 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 da. I'm like, okay then. But yeah, when wow. I saw that that like new agey mom, I was like, that's Alyssa. That's absolutely <laughs> her. King when when did that show go off the air? Like or like stop? They stopped making new episodes. Gosh, I don't because know. Because Luann was voiced by Brittany Murphy. Yes. Who passed away like it. 2007, 2008, something no, like that? No, not seven. I was going to say earlier? 11. Oh, you're saying it was it was more recent? Correct. So I'm just wondering if they replaced her voice or what, what they did with that. Speaking of replacing voices and The Simpsons, fucking Harry Shearer. Oh, yeah. Harry Shearer's not coming back for the next season. He's out. He's, he's Mr. Burns. He is... Isn't uh, he like Ned Flanders? He's Flanders. He's so many people. He's a uh, he's a gaggle of people. He is yes. He's Reverend Lovejoy. He, I, dude. It's just the the amount of voices that yeah. we're about to lose. I think he's Smithers also. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, and he's not coming back, and it's unfortunate, dude. That guy, that guy is hilarious. Period. Yeah. Uh, I'm a big fan of his going back to the Spinal Tap days, and uh-huh. he's been in all of Christopher Guest movies. He's <laughs> an amazing ad libber, and he's just perfect. Yeah. On top of that, he is one of the main five voices of The Simpsons yes. since day one, mm-hmm. over twenty fucking years. And he's just calling it quits. And he's just he's he's tired. He's he's done. He's with done. It. He's just. According to him, I heard I heard a podcast. I heard him on on uh, Mark Maron a couple of. Uh, couple of months ago and he he still hadn't made his decision but when he was on that show he was already being very vocal about his his unhappiness yeah. with, with the direction of the show he feels it hasn't been funny in a few years i know that the internet feels that way too yeah there's a couple of funny moments that have happened in the last few seasons correct but i think since the movie came out which was 2007 i think no yes that was a while ago because i i still worked i still worked at uh, the advertising agency. i want to say it was like <laughs> You know what? You're absolutely probably right. <laughs> I'm thinking about it, and I worked at Hastings at the time. Right. I, I I got like a one of those little DVD sets with a giant Simpsons shirt that oh, came okay. with. Oh, okay. I didn't get that. But um, you can have mine. It's freaking huge. Not that you're freaking what, huge. What are you trying to say, fucker? <laughs> hey, Just because it's, it's your birthday, birthday doesn't mean I won't punch you in the <laughs> mouth. Um, but yeah, I think ever since the movie, like that that should have ended the series yeah i, I think, agree i think that that's where it should have anyway point being is uh harry Shearer is uh calling it quits the question i have was kind of the same question i had about luann was with the departure of him who he it's not just a voice he did he created these characters he helped flesh out these characters with the voice so we're saying we're going to lose burns Smithers, Absolutely Flanders, not. I disagree. Lovejoy. They're going to get someone that can kind of sound like him. That's what I was going to ask you. You think that they will? Absolutely. You're not going to have like a party bus crash in The Simpsons <laughs> and then like, oh, we lost this group of well, characters. I mean, to be fair, uh, what's his name? Um, sorry. Hank. Uh, no, 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 no. Uh, sorry. Phil Hartman. Okay. Used to do a, a reoccurring character probably at least two or three times a season he'd come out as the lawyer uh lionel hutz Mm -hmm. once he passed away lionel hutz never showed up again yeah uh there's a lady uh uh, uh, named marcia wallace and she was the voice of uh mrs krabappel which was bart's teacher Mm -hmm. once she passed away they killed her off in the in the show also Mm -hmm. they they made the, the character pass away yeah so i guess that's the question is are they gonna not just well, what are they going to do? Mr. Burns is like Homer's boss. I know. I know. That's It's a very strange predicament. I know Ned that Flanders is his neighbor. They're, they're just too big. Yeah. I don't know. It's interesting to like see those, where they're going to go Those characters are, are, are known, but they're minor. We got to be honest. Right. I mean, Ned Flanders and... Oh God, those are kind of minor, too. Well, see, that's the thing. I, it, you didn't lose any of the core family. Yeah. Um, but... At this point, it's more than just the family. I mean, have you ever seen that poster that we have of, of the Simpsons characters? Yeah. There's like 800 Simpsons There's characters a whole lot. over the last 20 years that have, you know, had a had big moments and, uh-huh. and memorable moments. So to lose those five huge characters, I would say huge characters, um, that's, uh, that's going to be a loss. So you're saying they might just bring in a sound alike? I'm thinking because, like, they... 
it I don't I don't think they would kill off Mr. Burns. And like if they did, who would be Homer's new boss? I don't think it I, I mean I think that it would just be one of could, those things they didn't they talk just, about. They just never bring him up again. They're like, "Okay. It's possible. It's it dude, anything's possible. It's an animated show." But I feel like those have been like bigger characters than let's say Mrs. Krabappel. Dude, how many times has Bart been in his classroom interacting with her over the years? True, he's just interacting though, but there's been uh, instances where like Mr. Burns or Ned Flanders have been the center of the episode. There was a whole cliffhanger that somebody shot Mr. Burns. Right, I remember that. I remember that vividly. Spoilers, it was Maggie. (laughs) (laughs) So, there's just something to think about, you know? Being being in the, the production field that I am doing not anywhere near Simpsons voices but I can do them all this is my Bart I crumble (laughs) this is my Maggie (laughs) (laughs) can you do Maggie one more time please if you want to hear it again just loop it (laughs) cut to the loop (laughs) oh my god okay it's his birthday be nice be nice be nice okay um well anyway (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Can we just put it on the table? It sounded like I was sucking a dick. <laughs> yes, just it did. put it on the table. That's exactly what it sounded like. So, <laughs> oh man, it wouldn't be an episode of the Still Unnamed Podcast if we didn't allude to Mark's homosexuality, <laughs> especially on his birthday. Are you going to come out tonight? Ah, uh, no. Please come out tonight. Uh, God, just, I'm, I'm begging you. It's so nice out here. Just come out of that closet. <laughs> I mean, I've thought about it. I mean, I can't, I cannot say that I haven't honestly thought about it because people have told me I'm gay and I'm like, well, maybe I'm gay. And then I think about it, I'm like, no, I don't, no, that doesn't sound appealing to me at all. First off, I'm going to get in trouble real quick because I'm going to. I know where you're going with this. Don't do it. I'm going to. It's your birthday. I'm going to. Well, there you go. I can't get in trouble. Boobs are the best. I love boobs. Yeah, boobs are nice. Also, when I poop, sometimes it hurts. So, I don't, I mean, doing the reverse of that, right. I just cannot just, fathom. Right. I mean, kudos to you. I mean, I'm not to putting, me? not to you. <laughs> You're looking at me. <laughs> um, to, any, to our homosexual audience, I'm not trying to put you down. I'm just saying it's not for me. Right. I mean, good for you, but not well, dude, I don't know. I mean, it's not a choice. Your, Pete. your hero. I was born this way. <laughs> your hero, Bruce Jenner, just you know, finally you mean made Caitlyn. Finally, I was about to say that. Finally made that transition. Uh, is now known as Caitlyn Jenner. Yeah. Um. So you know, take a page out of uh, her book. Come out, bro. Just, I can't. Just, I can't come just out. Come out. I was, I thought One about day. it, and I was like, the the most I could probably be is maybe bisexual, but I don't even think I'm that because like beards. Mm-hmm. Like, um, like I've I've seen a handsome man or two before in my lifetime. I'd say like that's a handsome man, right? But I've never said I will fucking take a dick <laughs> for that man. <laughs> I wonder what his cock tastes like. <laughs> I think we have a title for the episode. <laughs> <laughs> Happy, birthday. Happy birthday! I wonder what his cock tastes like. <laughs> Hit the music. So on that note, we're going to leave you now and say uh, thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here on this Happy Taco Tuesday uh, on Mark's birthday. Uh, And uh, just honestly, from the bottom of my heart, dude, I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. And may all your dreams come true and all that other shit that that people say. I I genuinely graduation card. I genuinely mean it. And uh, may this be a great year for you. It's looking pretty good, to be quite honest. So, on that note, I want to say, again, thank you all. I am Pete Salas, along with... Mark, birthday boy, Rodriguez. Birthday boy. Happy birthday. And special thanks to our sponsor, Chico's Veil Bonds. Have yourselves a very, very happy, happy birthday and happy Taco Tuesday. Don't have a happy birthday unless it's your birthday, though. Well, it might be your birthday. If it's your birthday, listeners, happy birthday to you. Do you know we share a birthday with Johnny Depp? Well, now I gotta find a picture of Johnny Depp holding a taco. (laughs) See y'all later. Bye bye.